Good evening, and welcome to the first ever RTMS Virtual Band Concert. I'm Mr. Redman, I'm the music teacher here at RTMS, and I want to send a special thank you to all of you who are watching this from the comfort of your own home. Uh, we are obviously living in some very unprecedented times, and uh, everybody around us is looking for connection. And this isn't just an example uh, this evening or whenever you're watching this of a, uh, of a connection that the students have made with one another and with me um, that we very much value and appreciate here at RTMS. Um, I would like to send a huge thank you to all of the students who have been involved with this. Uh, there has been no motivation to do this other than just the fact that they want to play their instruments, they want to keep getting better on their instruments, and they want to connect with one another. Um, and I really appreciate that. This has not been a class. There's no grade for it. It's not an elective. Uh, it is out of their own free will and free time that they've uh, signed up to come and uh, be in this activity with me during this uh, distance learning and hybrid learning time. So <clears throat> I'd just like to say thank you from the depths of my heart to all of you students who are out there who are just for the love of music wanting to participate in this. It, it means a lot and it shows a lot about your uh, character that you would like to participate in this. Uh, this evening I would also like to, I always say a special shout out thanks to sixth graders at the, at the first concert in particular, um, but I want to send an extra special shout out and thank you to them. Um, for sixth graders coming from fifth grade band, it's a very big leap from where they stop in fifth grade to where they start in sixth grade. And many sixth graders spend the first several weeks or maybe even months of band in their sixth grade year with their eyes wide trying to figure out, wait, what are these notes that he's expecting us to play? Um, that is compounded by the fact that we were not able to finish our, sixth, our fifth grade year last year. So they missed out on several things and concepts that we would have gotten to at the end of their fifth grade year. And uh, really and truly for those who have been participating in this, it's been throwing you into the water and expecting you to swim. So I really appreciate you sixth graders for sticking with this and submitting what you could from these tracks and doing the best that you could, even though I'm expecting so much more even than I normally do from sixth graders. So thank you for that. And again, thank you for everyone for participating. Uh, this concert is going to be a very different style of concert. Uh, typically, in a normal year, we would be working on a couple of three to four pieces of music um, in the span of about two months or so, about eight to ten weeks maybe, before we put on a concert, working each day to get the parts better and better. Um, in this case, of course, we're not meeting together, and we can't play over Google Meets together. It's impossible. Um, so what happened with these songs is, the students would record themselves playing their tracks on smart music and they would get the best score that they could and then they would email those tracks to me and I would have a track for each student and I'll layer those tracks uh, on top of one another in order to make our full band sound. Um, so in essence they are playing alone yet we're all playing together through the magic of uh, technology tonight. Um, with this comes a lot of challenges. Um, it is difficult if not impossible to get everybody to play the right notes at the right time. Um, even for professionals, this would be next to impossible because in a full band setting, you're able to hear your neighbor, you're able to hear the other sections, and you can adjust as far as what you're playing as far as what they're playing, and, and, and you can adjust the balance and blend, adjust the tempo, that sort of a thing. You can play off of one another since you would be in the same room. In this case, the students are recording themselves alone in isolation and then sending it to me. So this won't sound like a typical concert because, like I say, even for professionals, it's almost impossible to line everybody up. Um, but I will say I've been so impressed by what these students have done, and I think you'll also see a progression, them getting better by each song, uh, because we're going to present these songs tonight in order of when they got them. So the first song you'll hear is the first time we tried this out, this format. The next song is the second time, the third time. Um, interspersed between the... Uh, full band songs are some solos that I was sent by students that I thought you would enjoy. And during the songs, you'll hear, uh, you'll see the composer and you'll see the song down in the corner and you'll uh, see some pictures about what the theme of the song is or what the music is about flashing through as we listen. So thank you again for being here and we hope you enjoy our first ever RTMS middle school virtual band concert.
thank you all again for being with us and for going on this journey with us as a band. And we look forward to many more concerts. We're already working on our next pieces to be put together for the next virtual band concert. Thank you again for participating and we will see you another time. Bye-bye.